Hello friends, my name is Anil Singhania and you are watching my YouTube channel AG Software. Friends, in this video I am going to teach you how you can create a digital clock in Python using very simple line of course. So friends, to get the complete knowledge, just watch this video from start to end. Now let's start. First, open PyCharm. It will take some time to load. If you will open this software first time then you will get a screen like uh, this and if you want to create a project then you have to click on this but I have already installed and created many projects in PyCharm so it is showing a display like this so it's time to create a project so to create new project click on file here I will click on new project and uh, it's taking some time Okay. by clicking on this file icon we can choose the directory in which we want to create the project in my case it is F drive so I will select here F and click on ok after the directory name we have to put a name for our project so here I will type digital clock one more thing you have to do here if this radio button is checked in your system during creation of project then please select this radio button existing interpreter and now click on create and here click on this window it will take some time to create this project into our system so just wait now it's done now we can see that a project with name digital clock is created inside f drive in our system now it's time to create a python file for this so just right click on project name and here new and uh, python okay here we have to type a name for our python file in my case i am just going to type program you can type any name for your python file and also for your project name so it is not compulsory for you that you type project name digital clock and type um, python file name like program so press enter after typing the name for python file it's time to code so first i am going to import the library which is needed to create this digital clock so i will write from tk enter import star and the another library from tk enter dot ttk import star and the third library is from time import strf time now it's okay the library has been imported now it's time to create a window so i will take a variable my window and will use tk enter function which is used to create a window gy window now it's time to set a title for our window here i will write digital clock now i am going to create a label which is used to display the time in digital format so here i will take a variable lbl and here label here i will write my window and now i'm going to set a font for this so i will write here and the font family is like arial and the second parameter is its size so here i will write 25 pixel and another parameter is background color so just i am going to here write blue and to change the text color i will write foreground color here i'm just going to write white now at last i will pack okay it's done now i'm going to create a function which is used to display the time so here i will define a function and i am just taking function name time okay now i will take a variable str and i'm going to take the time using function str f time now the first parameter is percent h and it will display the hour and the second parameter is percent %m it will display the minute and the third parameter is percent %s and it will definitely display the seconds and the last parameter is percent %p it will display the format like uh, am or pm now it's time to configure the level so here i will write lbl.config 
and here text should be str okay and one more thing we have to do is after we'll refresh it uh, so i will write here thousand and the function name time okay now it's done at last i am just going to call this function time and just going to write the last line main loop now the coding is done now i am going to run this file so just right click on this coding section and click on run program now you can see that the digital clock is running on our system so i am just going to make something more in interesting so i will change blue color to black and here a real font family to algeria and black and here i will write cyan now i'm going to done and i think it is looking something more interesting than previous here you can also change the size of text like uh, i am just going to put it 50 so now i'm going to run and let's see the now it's looking good and uh, once again i'm just going to type here 100 and now it will look something more interesting friends i have created a website for you all where you can learn all type of programming language like c c plus plus java php c sharp android all these languages free and you can get a lot of project with source code so visit my website my website link is given in description area and please please just visit my website and thanks for watching this video